there is a war going on inside. There's a war going on inside in each of us. It's big time happening inside of our children because our children are not being taught. They don't know. They don't have any idea. You know, in fact, I just got this. This is a Common Core, a student in uh, Common Core. This is in St. Louis. The parents wrote in, and uh, and they said, um, uh, we're parents of a son, blah, blah, blah. Our son is uh, in social studies, and he had to write an essay. And the essay starts with the premise that the unbalanced distribution of wealth, this is Common Core, the unbalanced distribution of wealth in the U.S. needs to be addressed. The references for possible solutions to the problem they can pick from Karl Marx, Andrew Carnegie's essay on the gospel of wealth, or uh, a blogger from Occupy Wall Street. You have to do that's Common wow. Core. Wow. None of these. Wow. Uh, none of these are basis for a balanced discussion on economic systems and prosperity, which apparently has nothing to do uh, with the objective of Common Core. Brilliant economic minds such as Thomas Sowell, Milton Freeman, Hayek, Adam Smith, Walter Williams are excluded. Dimitri will not participate. Dimitri is their son's name. Dimitri will not participate in such obvious political propaganda. This is not learning, nor is it education. It is indoctrination with the flawed premise of a foregone conclusion that the correct answers form some sort of government tyranny achieved through anarchy. Oddly enough, this was assigned to our son, a boy who grew up in former communist Russia, where abject abject poverty from these economic policies continue there to cripple their citizens. He knows what poverty results from statism. I have also spent time in communist China, and I can assure you that there is no overland park there. Professor Williams, the brilliant conservative African-American economist, wrote a piece recently entitled Student Indoctrination, the Goals of the Leftist Teaching Agenda. He describes the uh, kind of intimidation going on in the classroom where the free exchange of ideas is rejected for political ends. My husband and I are Ivy League educated with advanced degrees in finance and economics. This is a disgraceful and ignorant assignment, and it should be rescinded. To To the parents that saw it, they should demand an apology. In addition, we are curious as how local and national media will react to such a story. We are going to put this uh, together. I'm sending it up to the blaze. We're going to put that up. I can guarantee you nobody will care. Nobody will care. There's not going to be national media that is going to, um, that's going to run with this. Could I say something very cryptic to you um, that I, am, uh, I have thought about for the last 24 hours? Um, actually, about the last three weeks, um, I think there are some things that are are coming uh, specifically with the blaze that when we started putting this thing together, we thought there's no way this works. There's absolutely no way this works. But we were we just did what we were told to do. Um, yes, by our Zionist masters, by God. And we came here. We I mean, literally you know someday we'll tell the whole story and we'll have nice laughs of how crazy the things are that we have done that make no sense until the end this last summer i just got the i got the extreme message stand down buddy stand down i you don't even know where i'm taking you sit down shut up be patient I told you to get in the car. We're going someplace. And you keep saying, but where, what are we going over here for? Why are we going? Shut up. Sit down. Zip your mouth. Know that I am God. Okay. Well, in the last uh, month, some things have been going down. And, um, and, and maybe we'll talk about it. Or they'll become apparent in the next six months or so. And, um, and we will talk about it. But I would, I would beg that you would do this. I am reading a book right now called uh, uh, Circle of Prayer. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Uh, the Circle Maker. Praying circles around your biggest dreams and uh, biggest fears. God, you don't need to pray to God for things that you can do. You do those. You pray to God for the outrageous things that you're like, there's no way this happens. But don't forget to thank him. Could I ask you not to pray for the blaze and pray for us? Could I ask you to pray Thanks to him for what he is doing and what he has done. 
because we need to recognize the blessings that are coming and are happening. I'm telling you, when we have the chance, if this stuff all falls into place that the blaze is going through right now, I'm telling you, miracles, absolute miracles. So please pray uh, thanks for everything that he has done for us.